Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We are at the scene of a decomp. Uh, today is Friday and this person passed away, well, was discovered on Tuesday. We don't know when he passed away. Uh, based on the amount of medication, I think he was probably pretty sick. He lived alone. Um, the scene is rather small. It's, it's pretty contained. So we got a little bit of clothing. We got carpet. We do have quite a bit of maggots. Um, the smell on a scale from one to 10 is probably about a seven, seven and a half. So it's really not too bad. So we're gonna get started working in this room here. Um, it is a bit cluttered. There's a lot of big items, but uh, we'll take care of the odor and uh, get rid of all of the nastiness. We are gonna be working in a pretty shitty environment. Um, it's hot already and the AC appears to be broken. So I've got it on 67 and it's reading 86 degrees in here. I open this up and it looks like this air conditioning system is duct taped together and I think I can't even see the year on this thing but it's like ancient ancient old uh, so it's gonna really be a crappy environment for us to work in it's pretty dirty too so oh well another day another dollar hey guys we are here in Tampa on the 31st of July we are doing a animal fecal matter clean out. If you follow me. So the guy was known as a drug user, a known drug user. He has stolen out of another apartment a stove and a refrigerator. We're actually taking this refrigerator with us today. You can see it's, it's leaking down here. It's really gross. So we are all animal lovers here. The animal has been taken away. He had his dog locked in the bathroom. Um, this is what we're here to clean today. These are the situations that are hard for me. Uh, it's not too bad, we're gonna remove flooring. Uh, we're removing baseboards, we're gonna sanitize, seal the floor. We're gonna call it a day. Welcome to life of Spalding. Well, it's not as bad as uh, a decom, but um, um, It'll be fine. It'll be easy. Poor dog. It's so bad. Yeah, the AC is broke, so... It's so, so bad. <laughs> it's so hot. Oh, I went some. What's up? Oh. <coughs> Actually... New. It's best by August 11th. Oh, look at that. This is perfectly fine to drink. That's pretty much what happens when. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god, maggots. Look at them, they're so cute. I know. Let me tell you something maggots are my best employees. They never call in sick, they never complain. Fuck you. See? They don't cuss me out. <laughs> they just do their jobs. Look at that. The floor is going to have to come out. So we're removing the refrigerator. It is full of food. I don't want anything falling out of my fucking trailer. It will have to be empty, or I will call for a scrapper to come pick it up. After the fact, when we get back, um, it's fucking gross. I didn't open it, but <laughs> the maintenance supervisor told me it was fucking gross. So I'm not risking it. I mean, do you want me to open it? Let me All right. 
That's a fucking challenge. Challenge accepted. There we go. Challenge accepted. Get all up in it. You want to see the refrigerator? I'm so glad I can't smell anything. Oh! Fuck you! And pretend that that never happened. Fuck you guys in the town. Hey, we had a three-way maggot race and Kyle's maggot won. It's just because I was part Those guys are fast. They are fast. They're, They're not like the fat ones. yet. It's like the one I did the other day. Run, Forrest, run! Hi, run! You know what? Let's set up a maggot race. Oh, Let's do it. that's insensitive, Laura. No, it's not. Here, ready? You just, I got the fattest one. No, I want this one. No. All right, I want this one. I want that one. Okay, hold on. Ready? Don't squish him. On the count of three. Okay. One, two. Mine's okay, winning okay. already. Yours is retarded. No, mine's winning. That's mine. He had oh. the spot on his head. Okay, this one's mine? Yeah. This is one? Yep. Mine's go, winning. Go, 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 Yours went off track. So did yours. Juan, <laughs> what are you doing? Why? Oh, he's going back at you. Why? He smells the cloud. Go, 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 go. No, it's not going to win. Yes, my maggot did not win. What the hell are you guys doing? My maggot was in second place, though. It's just because Kyle was part of a three-way. <laughs> I cannot with you guys. You're supposed to clean up the mess. Yeah, play with it. well, we were cleaning it up, but I mean, <laughs> we were playing the maggots with were running, and we thought, what a better way to get them some exercise since they've done such a great job for us in the cleanup. Did you record this? Of course we did. And uh, Juan's maggot was uh, semi-disabled because he ran in the wrong direction. Okay? And upside down. And upside down. So, <laughs> but in my defense, my maggot was the fattest. So that's why I came in second. Yeah. I can't with you. Mine had the flattest ass, so I mean, hey. Yeah, there It you was go. able to run with nothing. Oh, I don't look like you guys, okay. <laughs> like she just called me fat. And she called me flat. <laughs> All right, we hate you. We're leaving. Bye. I love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
I still think about uh, seven on a scale of ten. Yeah, the scale is different than seven. Yeah. yeah. Deerfield stunk worse. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? That was like episode two, I think. Stunk worse than that. That's not like vanilla cigarette. So we are just trying to have a little bit of light humor here because um, if you don't, it can be really bad. The days, the days can really get to you if you don't like take them lightly. You know, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you start uh, dwelling on what you're Yeah, do for the exactly. Day. So um, we have to kind of have light humor about it. It, it. It's it's the circle of life. I mean, it's really. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go, and there's, there's no it's and or bust about it. So we're not insensitive. We're just, you know, making light of our job, not of the situation. If we didn't go, people would think something yeah, was wrong. Yeah, 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 totally. So. I have my fogger um, with disinfectant in it. I actually labeled it on top shockwave. So that way nobody gets it confused. I try to keep one for the stuff that I have for mold, and then I try to keep one that has shockwave in it. One's a mold killer, the other one is a disinfectant. Um, I'm just gonna go in everything before I start fogging. Everything is uh, cleaned up. The mess on the floor from the refrigerator. So what we did here, we literally stripped the bathroom down. Um, had to remove the toilet to get the sticky laminate flooring up. I stopped at the threshold. Everything in here has been sanitized, wiped down, inside cabinets. I could lick them if I wanted to. I'm just not in the mood. Um, inside the drawers here, we're good to go there. The tub, builded by hand. Tub looks phenomenal. I would actually take a bath in it. Um, I would sit on the toilet seat. I probably would lick it since I'm the one that cleaned it, but I'm not in the mood for that either. Um, that's essentially it today. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fog with my disinfectant. I'm going to fog with my disinfectant. I'm going to go ahead and get all the walls. I'm going to do a heavy fog in here so that way it gets inside crevices and things like that. Again, this was a known drug user. Um, drug of choice was heroin. I have a box of needles that I actually have to pick up. It's already been sealed, so I'm not gonna open it. You guys, unfortunately, aren't gonna be able to see it. Um, that's it. So. Hey guys, here we are, Bradenton, Florida, at the uh, biohazard that we did. Older gentleman died of natural causes. Uh, you can see here we actually removed all of the carpet. I'm getting ready to set my ozone machine to get rid of the smell. Um, so there was two layers on the floor here. One was particle board, the other one was plywood. It actually feels like when you're walking, like you're gonna fall through the flooring. It's just uh, everything's on swole uh, because of moisture and things like that. This is my hometown. It was kind of nice to be home, but uh, it was kind of a fairly easy cleanup. Had to rip up all the carpet. Had 196 gallon bio bin, maggots galore. Had a maggot race, which was really cool. I'm gonna set my ozone machine. We're gonna dip out of here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode with Laura, Juan, myself. Um, not very often that Laura and I work together, but we always try to make it fun. Have a good one, guys.